Okay, this is our second video on the recurve bow, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up your recurve bow, and how to shoot it as well. So when you buy a recurve bow, it'll come in separate parts. You'll have the riser as one part, you'll have each of the limbs separate, and it'll also be provided with a string. And with any luck, your provider should also give you what's called a bow stringer. So to set this up, you take the riser, chuck it on your lap or somewhere. Now each of these limbs has a label on the back that tells you how long the limb is, how much poundage, which is how heavy the drawer is, on it, and also whether it is the top or the bottom limb. So put your top limb in the top pocket and your bottom limb in the bottom pocket. And you do this by taking your limb underneath that limb bolt, pushing it forward until it snaps. Doing the same on the other side, limb underneath the limb bolt, pushing it forward until it snaps. Now some recurve bows, you put the limb in and you'll have to screw down the limb bolt to fasten it. This is what's called an international limb fitting bow, which means that it clips in, but if you have a takedown bow, you need to screw those limb bolts down to secure the limbs. When you put the string on, you need to look at the string. One of the loops that go onto the limbs, one of them will be larger than the other. This is the larger loop, this is the smaller loop. The larger loop goes at the top of the bow, and it goes over the limb. And the bottom loop then goes on the bottom part, and it sits into the limb, into the groove on that limb. Now your bow is ready to be strung. If you are provided with a bow stringer, it should come with instructions on how to string your bow. First of all, you need to get to the bottom limb, and you'll put the pocket of your bow stringer over that limb and over that string as well. And then the other side of the bow stringer will go over the limb here. Now, you'll put one foot on the string just below the top limb pocket, and one foot on the string just below the bottom limb pocket. And when you lift that up, this string will tighten and it will pull the limbs down, and then you'll be able to slide the limb up, slide the string up the limb, and then onto the groove. Now that your bow is all strung up, you'll need to put all your accessories onto that. The first thing you need to add to it is the arrow rest. Now a lot of basic arrow rests will just stick onto the bow, they'll have a wee bit of adhesive padding on the back of them, and you just press that down onto your bow. And there should be a hole on this arrow rest, just here, and you need to align that up with this hole in the riser there. And that is so that you can add later on, as you get more experience, what's called a plunger button. We won't go into that now, but that's just so you can add that onto there as well. So once you put your arrow rest on, you then need to add your sight. Now the sight will be provided with the actual sight bar, and also a mounting block. I've already put the mounting block onto this bow. All you'll need to do is screw it down. There should be two holes in the riser, and you'll be able to screw that sight down into there. And once your sight block is on, it'll be simply a matter of just clicking your sight into the sight block and tightening that down. Give it a bit of a twang, just to make sure it's not rattling. That's just to check if everything's nice and tight. If you've got a stabilizer, you need to add it to this bushing here, just below the handle. And once again, you need to screw that down really tight. And once it's screwed on, give your bow a bit of a twang, just to make sure it's not rattling loose. Okay, so once you have your bow all set up, you need to put your arm guard on, which just goes on over your arm. You need to get your finger tab on, one finger on top, two on the bottom of the spacer. Take an arrow out, make sure that the cock band is spacing out. Knock it onto the arrow at the knocking point, make sure it clicks. Onto the arrow rest. Now to shoot it, you'll need to put one finger on top of the arrow, two on the bottom, bring your arm up, draw it back to underneath your chin, and there's a part of your sight called the sight pin, and it should be a red dot, it could be just a, a clean tunnel, 
and once you've got that back to full draw, you need to align that up with the centre of the target. So you pull it back under your chin, centre of the target, and then just let it slip through your fingers. So take an arrow out, onto the string, cock vein needs to face out, onto the arrow rest, one finger on top, two under, underneath your chin, Make sure you line the sight pin up with the centre of the target and let it slip through your fingers. Make sure that when you draw back you're not hyperextending your arm. Make sure you keep your shoulder nice and low and make sure that you've got a bend in your arm. When you draw, make sure you get your elbow nice and high. Don't have it down low. So you should have a nice bend and keeping your elbow nice and high.